I just got a few cards. He left his home late last night, he had to get away. He walked towards this city, 500 miles they say. Babylon is calling, calling out his name. He needs to get inspired or he'll probably go insane. To the Cairngorms. Um, it's like a spiritual home to me, you know, camping down at Loch Arn, the boulders. It's, I spent a lot of my climbing life here, being able to disappear into the space. One of the remotest cliffs, uh, Sputin Jerig, is just over there. Sometimes you, you just, you know, when the sun comes out and you come over here and you just get excited and you're looking for some rock. And then you think, oh, well, what does that buttress look like? That looks quite nice. And it just draws you in, tempts you in, and you don't know how hard these are going to be. You, you, sometimes you wish, oh, well, you wish it was easier. You come across something where it's going to test you, and then you get totally uh, obsessed with, <laughs> with doing it, and you don't want to leave here without doing it because you don't want to walk another eight miles again to come back. Then I committed myself to it. And I got to to this this hold, which I thought, and it was just sloping. And then I absolutely shat myself. And uh, I I thought, well, what am I going to do? Or do I just jump for this hole, which may not be a hold, or, or or do I down climb? And I had to down climb it, but I I honestly don't know how I managed to down climb it. But as soon as I got down, I was wobbling around, and I thought, well, you know, what my you know, I should have just gone for it. So I'm not leaving here without doing this route. site soloing a new route in the middle of nowhere it's it, it's it's a different experience altogether you know, i got away with it you know but uh, i might not have done and it's a 70 foot fall into a, a, a gully full of rocks in the middle of nowhere i suppose it doesn't really matter if it's in the middle of nowhere i don't think i'm gonna be crawling back i think i think someone will be picking me up in about two months time when they find me you know? I was thinking back to you know, eight years ago, and crazy, I would say. <laughs> Every time I come out to the Cairngorms, there's always that, uh, there's a feeling of peace, really, and uh, just such a subtle, mellow sort of environment. It's like a place where silence is deafening, really, I guess, yeah. Good for the soul, I think. <laughs> 